Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. Let's get right to it. So you can see I had, I got 6,500 square feet. So that's 6.5 times 20 ounces per thousand. That's 6.5 thousand square feet. That's where, I, you know, where the 6,500 comes from. Times 20 ounces per thousand. That's 130 ounces. This is a 64 ounce measuring cup. We all know there's 128 ounces in a gallon. So two 64s equals 128. So I'm gonna fill it up twice. <laughs> 128's a gallon, so I should have dummy me. I should have just took and poured that in there, right? Now in our business, we use, uh, you know, we buy in bulk, so we buy in 275 gallon totes for the most part. And I do this, this little trick with my big totes. I do it with a two and a half gallon jug, a five gallon pail, one gallon jug. When I get done, I'm down to the bottom and there's nothing in it. I'll put me a little bit of water in here, 10, 15, 20 ounces. Shake it up good, because I want to get all that goodness out of this jug, and I'll pour it in my sprayer. Here's a disclaimer on that. I do not do that with herbicides. I just do not. Obviously, you can put just the green punch down if you want, let the rain wash it in or whatever. I'm an adjuvant guy, I've always been one. And years ago, I run across the natural adjuvant, and I have found it to be superior to any other adjuvant that I've ever used. Now, obviously, I haven't used them all, so I can't say it's the best on the market, but I can say it's the best I've used out of the dozens and dozens and dozens that I have used. So, one of the tricks to using the adjuvant is you want to check your pH once you get all your product in here. And that's a five, eight, five, nine. What we're gonna do is add just a little bit of citric to drop the pH down to right about a five or just a little bit below. So that's good there. And the adjuvant, you wanna give it a good shake before you use any of it. I got 6,500 square feet, and the rate is a half an ounce per 1,000. So that should be right about three and a half ounces roughly, and I'm just gonna go and put four in it and be done with it. You know, you always hear me talk about cutting rates and using low rate and all this kind of thing with the adjuvant. And that's very true. On liquid fertilizers, I typically do not change rates or do not adjust rates. I use label rates on the liquid fertilizer like Green Punch, but what the adjuvant's gonna do is just make it be a little bit more effective than it would be without it. Where the low rate thing comes in handy is, uh, especially in a business, when you're spraying lots and lots of yards and you're going through lots and lots of material, large totes and things like that. On a herbicide and a fungicide label, you'll have like a low rate and a high rate. All right, one should give you a, uh, with fungicides, one's gonna give you a certain length of control, one's gonna give you another length of control. Well, here's an example, is oxystrobin full rate's gonna give you a 28-day control, right? Well, when I use the adjuvant with it, I can use the lower rate, lowest labeled rate, and still get the 28-day control. Been doing that for years. Uh, the first year I went full all out and used the adjuvant, I saved $24,000. 24 grand on my fungicide bill alone. That's not including the herbicide bill and all that kind of thing. My fungicide bill from the supplier cost me half of what it cost the previous year. Yeah, I had to buy the adjuvant. That's, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You have to buy it. But the call, when you weigh out the cost, I come out way better using the adjuvant, not just the money part of it. When you talk about the other benefits that the chitosan and yucca provide to the plant and the ground. To me, it's a win-win situation, and I've been doing it, don't plan on changing. <laughs> so my setup I got here is a strong battery sprayer and a nozzle assembly I put together. I got these on the website. They're in two or three different combos. I'll link the options up in the description below. If you wanna check them out, you can. And the way I got mine calibrated, I'm covering 6,500 square foot right here with four gallons of finished solution. 
For those of you that are new, this is Bermuda grass and the side I'm walking on, I've overseeded it last fall with Kentucky blue. Over to my left over here is rye grass. And all I'm doing here is just kind of feeding this cool season turf a little bit and gonna kind of pump it up a little bit so I can make you some cool striping and mowing videos this spring. Right as we start to warm up a little bit, we'll come in here and we're gonna spray all this out and pump the Bermuda back up for the summer. All right, so there you go. Uh, probably in a matter of, I don't know, two weeks, roughly, uh, we'll be out here mowing. Uh, I think the weather's kind of making a change for us. So I'm excited, I can't wait to get out of here. I need to send off my, uh, my reel and get it sharpened. I don't know how to sharpen it, so I'm gonna send it off and let somebody do it. So it'll be done right. And then we'll be out here mowing this thing. On my fence, I know a lot of you's been waiting on me to finish the landscape up around here, and, and it's in it works. I think uh, February 28th, I think, is the date that they're going to come and put the fence up. I got to go check my email. I believe that's right. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing the planting and all that, and I'm going to film all that and show you, show you the process start to finish. Hey, about time for lawn care to get rocking and rolling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your pre-emergence is uh, coming soon, fertilizer's coming soon, mowing's coming soon, all that stuff's coming soon. And look, if you're new to lawn care and you ain't got a clue where to start, that's why I got my lawn care guides, okay? I got my cool season lawn care guide for fescue, bluegrass, and rye. And then I got my Bermuda guide who's coming in the next couple of weeks or so. And those guides basically walk you through step by step. They kind of hold your hand through the whole process, help you learn, teach you things, show you what to do, when to do, how much to do of it, the whole nine yards. Now I ain't seen that in a while. I'm sitting there looking at that bluegrass and the sun's hitting it just right and that, that grass is, is, is glistening. Boy, I just sprayed it and that adjuvant's got that shiny look to it when it hits and, and, and soaks on the leaf. Oh man, look at that. I know it's the dangerous things that'll make you clock tick, right? That's one of them. I like looking out across the yard after I sprayed it. It's got that glisten for the, you know, for the next four or five minutes. That's pretty cool. So hey, there you go. I'm gonna get home and work on my yard. Check you later.